Now you've got a cold, your co-promoter, Bob Arum, uh, we wish him the very best, but he's got COVID at the moment, so he's not now coming over for the fight. There's been a little bit of speculation that maybe you guys have fallen out. Can you put that to rest? No, there's no fallout, it's just that some comments were made and some things were said which did not reflect where I was at or what where, or in, in fact anything a couple of them were not just not true, so I had to put it right yesterday, which I did. And that's regarding uh, Daniel Kinahan, I believe. There were certain things that Top Rank were involved in, it seems, that you weren't aware of. Anything more to say on that? No, I've said what I've had to say. You know, the fact is I was unaware of that, and it only came to light recently, and uh, that's their business. It's not my business. And presumably you'd want nothing to do with this particular person or his involvement in boxing. He has nothing to do with his show. Never has done. He, you know, no one leaned on me. He never leaned on me. He never tried to muscle himself into his promotion. That did not happen. That just did not happen. What's good, family? Shout out to the boss man, Shed, for boosting up your man the YB coin. So we just heard there from Frank Bricktop Warren. <laughs> Yeah, you know what Frank's like. Frank loves a bit of gangster, doesn't he? Yeah, he d listen. In the day, Rick Top, Rick Top's the kind of cat, yeah, who I'd want to do some crimes with. Yeah, he keep it a trilly. I don't know nothing. He ain't involved with nothing. Hundred <laughs> percent. Anyway, listen. Let's go through what the whole debacle. Now I know it's a little while ago, but I didn't cover it at the time. Obviously, the Fury versus Shite fight was coming up, so your man of man's was busy. Now we have got some time to go back and pontificate on what happened so it's interesting 10 days before the fight Fury and Shite had an online zoom press conference and guess what Frank Bricktop Warren was there Bob Chatty Patty Ratty Warren sorry Bob <laughs> Chatty Patty Ratty Aaron was there obviously Tyson and obviously Shite was also there now Bob Arum is 90 year old, so when you get to that kind of age, you don't, when you're sick, you're sick. Do you understand? Two twos. Bob, chatty, patty, ratty, Arum was just fine. Yeah, all in the video, all on the Zoom. Yeah, couldn't miss the guy. Smiling, all that kind of stuff. Chatting the most. Yeah, etc, etc. Two twos. It then comes out, this whole El Trapahan, Kinahan news drops. Where the feds, the US federal state dons, came. Uncle Sam essentially got his wick out for Kinahan. That's what, that's what, let's make it super simple here. Uncle Sam got his wick out and that was the end of that. Unzipped his, unzipped his zipper and that was it. Yeah, Uncle Sam now has a hard on for Kinahan. That's what it was. Another one of them ones. Yeah, at which point... What's that saying about the ship? The ship and the rats? The, mi the minute the ship starts to sink, the rats go, you know what I'm saying? The rats start all coming aboard, all scurrying about. And all of a sudden, your man's Bob, Chatty Patty, Ratty, Aram, his mouth just didn't stop moving. That's, let's be real now, people. His mouth didn't stop moving. First it was a, first it was a complete detachment. Bob Aram came out publicly out of nowhere and said, listen, uh, with cutting ties and all this other stuff. Then, it started getting deeper. Then Bob Arum came out and said, oh, yeah, he was bullying me and <laughs> all this kind of stuff. He also said that Kinahan actually confessed that he was a bad person to him and he'd done a lot of bad things. Just doing, listen, end of the day, Bob Chatty Patty Ratty Arum was just doing way too much with a mouthpiece. Yeah, his mouth just didn't stop going. A week, every, every day for a week, Headlines get coming out with new with new news drops, with new leaks about how Bob felt about, felt about El Trapahan. So, obviously that brings us to this video we've seen today. And that's what Frank Bricktop Warren was replying to. So, like I said, Frank Warren's a known... He, Frank Warren's been known to be someone who holds it down. Yeah, Frank Warren got shot years ago. And guess what? The guy, the guy shot him in his face, and when the feds came, he said he didn't see nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that really is as gangster as it gets. 
Most, in fact, you know what I'm saying? That, I can't, what, what can you say? That is as literally as gangster as it gets. You get shot in the face, you see the guy, you know who it is, and you say you didn't see nothing. Yeah? I mean, if you don't, I mean, if that ain't gangster, what's gangster? I don't know. And that's really, I'm not surprised to hear Frank just deny everything. Deny, in, he does it in such a way, you can tell he's got a lot of kind of criminal experience, in my opinion. Frank just knows, he knows all the lines. And, he, and good criminals, they can lie and it's believable. Yeah? Bad criminals, they lie and it's bait. But Frank, you, you know what I'm saying? He made the story believable. But where he did slip up, why be caught him slipping on a few of the things he said? Yeah, because <laughs> at, one, at one point in, in his response to the questions, he starts going kind of into details. He's like, oh, you know, Kinahan definitely didn't come around my house and... <laughs> he, de he definitely didn't come around my house and... Tell me to do this or tell me to do that. He starts going a little bit too deep. Yeah? He goes, oh, Kinder Hand's got nothing to do with this event. Yeah? In fact, let me read it out for word for word, yeah? Check this. You can go back and listen to it yourself, yeah? <coughs> Frank Warren says, or the interviewer says, presumably, in the future, you'd have nothing to do with the man, Kinahan. And then Frank Warren says, he has nothing to do with his show. He didn't lean on me. He didn't come round to my house on Thursday at 7 p.m. and touch me, and <laughs> you know what I'm saying. He didn't send me no pictures on my. <laughs> he didn't. I messaged me no pictures of my daughter going to school in the morning. <laughs> he just started reading off all the things that likely did happen. You understand? That's what happened. I'm saying you know, 100%. So it was a kind of a little Freudian slip. He was almost trying to be too, too slick with it, and in doing so, he ended up giving up what actually happened. Oh, listen, let me tell you something now. Yeah, Kinahan had nothing to do with his show. He didn't lean on me. He didn't come round to my yard last night and touch me. Yeah, he didn't send me no pictures of my daughter walking into school. <laughs> That's what it was. I'm telling you now. Yeah, he got touched. But fair play to the guy. Listen, I respect that. Yeah, if you're going to be involved, if you're going to be involved with decades of the underworld, I respect that. Yeah, I respect that. If you've chosen a path, yeah, and you and you, and that's all you can really. Uh, I'm not, none of us are God, yeah, so I don't believe we can judge anyone, as long as you're happy to ride with it. My, most people's issue is, is when, especially today, in 2022, certain cats, yeah, they pick a lane, they give it a big one, they wear all the chains, they drive all the cars, and then they get picked up. Oh, man, you know, I got kids, and, oh, man, you know, uh, my mama and all this kind of stuff. What? I thought you was. Where was all the chains gone? Where's all the cars gone? Yeah. What happened to all the flossing? Oh, you don't want to floss now because you got snot coming out your nose and all tears dribbling down your face. Yeah. So that's all. All we can ask for is you, whatever you do, just under, just hold it, innit? Yeah. Hold it. That's what you got to do. Suck it up and hold it. Otherwise, don't do it. But today, people want. They want something for nothing. They want to be gangster, but then. Not want to be gangster when they get the twenty piece to hold. Yeah, when the feds come knock the door and you know what I mean, and the judge hands you a quick thirty piece. Yeah, that, that's what comes to the territory, does it not? Yeah. Then you hear all, all, all I mean, all these so-called old-time gangsters now crying about how they want to get out. You got Kanye West and who all these other goofies running around. Oh, we need to get this old dusty head out of jail. No, he's where he needs to be. Yeah, he know he's all these dusty cats here are where they need to be. Yeah, simple as that. You got caught, and for whatever reason, you were sloppy, you got caught slipping, and that's the end of that. You made your lane, no one, no one didn't ask you to be, did they? Let's be real now. No one didn't ask you to be doing no, 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 no bad behaviour. Yeah, you chose your lane, and like I say, there's two things you can do. You can quit whilst you're ahead, or you can become a better version of yourself, i.e. a better criminal. Pick, pick one, but either one, you've got, you've got your lane. Yeah, and stay in it. Too often, and I think to be honest with you, it shouldn't be allowed. I don't. I don't think the filth should be allowed. Because obviously, what they do now is they incentivize snitching, don't they? They let. They let the first. The first. Say like you're involved in a ten-man conspiracy. Yeah, the first five man pretty much can get a deal, can't they? They can just roll over and get their belly tickled by Uncle Sam, and you get a good deal. You get a full. I don't know. Thirty grand a year in in relocation fees and whatever else and they set you up nice and I'm not sure how I feel about that I feel like how it should be is listen 
I think the Fed should come down. I think this is what I think that this is what should happen. Yeah, the Fed should come in hot and say, "Listen, you're all going to be getting some big bird." However, if you want to chat, we're talking. We're, we're talking whether you want to do thirty piece or a sixty piece. Do you understand? That's what they should be doing, in my opinion. It shouldn't be, oh, well, it's whether you're doing a fifty piece or a or a two year. No, it don't work for me. I'm afraid. Yeah, because. Like, I wouldn't, you wouldn't mind so much if it was based on the principle of, oh well, they're confessing because they want to better themselves. They're not. They're, they're confessing because it, it, it puts them in a better situation. They're not doing it because morally they've changed. If 99% of them, if they hadn't been caught, they'd be still doing it. But anyway, listen man, end of day, I've, I've rambled on, but listen. Frank Warren aired out. Yeah, aired him out. Bob, chatty patty ratty. Aaron. Yeah, and listen, Bob, I get it, but I mean, listen, Bob's 90 year old now, yeah? Bob hasn't been moving in the circles that Frank Warren's been moving in. Bricktop, he's been running the, un the London Underworld since, what, 2000? Even before that, we saw, we, listen, we all saw Bricktop in Snatch, yeah? That was, what, 22 years ago, and Bricktop was at the top of his game then. So, I'm talking, tw for the last 40 years, Bricktop has been dominating the London underworld. That's just what it is. Bob Arum, you see, he's 90 years old. And he thinking to himself, Damn, I haven't got many years left. And my old crinkly ass, it ain't gonna work well on them hard stone beds. <laughs> yeah, he, I can't, he can't even blame him, to some extent. He, Bob Arum's thinking about his old wrinkly bones on them hard concrete beds. I'm thinking, nah, that, that, that can't be it. I can't be, surely, this ain't how does Bob Arum's story ends. Yeah, buried underground in Florence, ADX. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> surely that, this ain't how my story ends. So I get that. But still, the principle's the same. Yeah, the minute the ship starts to sink, all the rats start scurrying. No doubt about it. But yeah, listen. Thank well and aired out. I'm gonna, it's going to be interesting going forward. I've got some more videos coming soon. I mean, so far we haven't seen Tyson Fury in the US. It was quite weird actually. Tyson Fury put a video out saying, oh yeah, I'm with my dad John and we're in New York. Well, that's impossible. We know John Fury can't get into New York. So it, it was just a bit weird. And like I said, Tyson Fury has been finished for a month. We know Sugar Hill. In fact, I've got another video. But before the Canelo fight... Tyson Fury said in an interview a week or two ago that he was looking forward to going to watch Bivol vs Canelo in person. And to be honest, Tyson Fury has been pictured at quite a few big big fights in the past. But ever since that thing came down, we haven't seen him leave nowhere but Morecambe. And don't forget people, the IFL Cats and Ben Davidson. I've got another video coming soon. Ben Davidson, who's part of Devin Haney's team, who's about to fight in Australia. Ben Davis had to tell Devin Haney's team, I can't come to Australia with you. Can't get there. Yeah? So, it's, tr it's truly peak now for a certain man. And like I said, Tyson Fury's got proper lawyers, so he's got the pattern. Yeah, these other man, these sloppy man like Coogan and Ben, they just get on the plane and get picked up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they, they ain't got the pattern. But Ty Ty uh, from what I'm hearing, Tyson got the link, who told him, listen, stay down. Yeah, hundred percent. Stay low. Yeah, let's not let's not ruffle no feathers. But but Ben Ben and Coogie just went straight to get on the plane and got picked up by customs. That was it. Peak for them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm hearing. But it's going to be interesting. Yeah, because all of a sudden, and I mean even Michelle, even Michelle Phelps, another one. All of a sudden, for get X amount of years, she's been doing the most. All of a sudden, what do we know about these cats? IFL TV, Michelle Joy Phelps etc etc they're all funded that's how their business operates yeah in particular Michelle the fire Phelps because her channel don't do the kind of numbers that you can sustain that lifestyle on flying to events all kind of all kind of things no way Eiffel TV is a bit bigger but still and even then to be honest I'm, it's kind of, I'm kind of skeptical oh you know how Coogan's oh my channel makes three million a year I don't know about that oops <laughs> yeah I think I think they was running some sort of scam through there 100%. Coogie Bear was running some big coins through there. Some big Kinahan coins was getting run through that. Do you know what I'm saying? 100%. So, you're all seeing all of a sudden Michelle Joy Phelps is, is retiring now. Do you understand? It's all linked. It's all interlinked. 
Yeah. So trust me, it's gonna be truly peak for a certain man. No doubt about that. Truly peak. Super duper peak. Super duper peak is what it's gonna be. But fair play to Frank Warren. He held it down. Yeah. Team Frank ain't playing no games. Team, uh, you man, listen. You man, the YB team bricked up till the wheels fall off. That's what he is. Hundred percent. Yeah. The YB loved the film Snatch. He team bricked up. Yeah. It's hundred percent. Listen. Fair play to Frank Warren. Yeah. That, I don't know how. Whoever made the film Snatch. I've got the guy. I do know the guy. But either way, the guy, the Don who directed and produced the film Snatch. Fair play to him. Because you couldn't find a better brick top than Frank Warren. Yeah, I don't know what casting, what they call them. Were they kind of typecasting? Whatever typecasters they've got, fair play to them, man. Because bringing in Frank Warren to that role, phew, he killed it. He, he killed that role in Snatch. He killed it. Killed it dead. 100%. So, yeah. Listen. Let's see how it plays out anyway. It's gone a bit quiet at the moment. But like I said, that's because certain man... I've been told to stay down, that kind of thing. Trust me, if Tyson Fury jumped on a plane, it'd all start kick off. You know what I mean? 100%. If Tyson Fury jumped on a plane, all of a sudden, all the news flow would kick up again. Oh, Tyson Fury detained at Heathrow Airport. Do you know what I'm saying? All them kind of things. So, we just gotta, you know what I mean? You gotta sit back at the moment, just start, start preying the things. That's how it, there's, a, there's an old saying. To calm before the storm. That's what they say anyway. Yeah, it's gone a bit quiet right now. Yeah, Uncle Sam's getting all of his... Listen, Uncle Sam right now, yeah, is lining up all the Kinahan booties in the air and getting ready to pop them all. You ever seen them films there? Yeah, trust me. <laughs> you seen them <laughs> You seen them next X-rated films where some next Don, some next Buck, <laughs> has got a whole bunch of bitches with their booty in the air and he's popped them all. <laughs> I'm just telling you, that's what Uncle Sam's fixing to do right now. You know, all the Trapper Hand lieutenants are lined up and Uncle Sam's fixing to... Yeah, no rubber either. Bareback. It's about to pop them all. Pop. Pop. <laughs> yeah. 100%. No doubt about it. What? Well, million percent. 